Hey, what's up you guys? So today I'm filming part two of my satin slip dress series. So today I'm filming the second slip dress that I'm going to be making and it's going to be white this time. It's the same, <laughs> it's like the same as that I had for my last satin fabric. It's $2.99 for one and a half yards of fabric. And last time I had to make a small adjustments to the pattern anyway. So for the first slip dress that I made, I cut it out a size too big and I had to do a couple adjustments to the back so that it fit okay. I wanted it to be big anyway, but it was just a little bit too big in the back. So today I'm going to be making some adjustments to the pattern so that the back pieces are just smaller anyway. I'm not doing anything to the front. I'm not worried about how it really looks. This is just a slip dress for underneath dresses or pajamas, so it doesn't need to look perfect. So I don't really have enough fabric to make the skirt the full length. In the pattern picture, it shows that it's like at the knee. It hit me around that place anyway, but I had to shorten the pattern anyway because there wasn't enough fabric to begin with. Just to show you what it looks like, this is how I shortened my pattern piece. This was the line right there for the shorter version on the pattern. I just shortened it a little bit more and I used washi tape to hold up the tissue. This is what I did with the back piece. I liked how it got bigger on the side, so I left it there, but I shortened it right here by just taking a little bit in. It's kind of like what I did with the pleats on the on my last dress. I'm going to cut out the pattern uh, on the sun fabric. I'm going to roll this out and cut out all the pattern pieces and we'll see how that goes. And I'm also going to put in some lace in with this dress. So I think I'm going to put some around the top and maybe around the bottom. I think that'll look good. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Yeah, so I finished pinning together all of my pieces and I have taken off the plastic frame to my serger. I'm currently cleaning out because it looked pretty gross. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to show you guys because it just looks so weird with the frame off. Look at all that. Looks so weird. Anyway, I'm going to be uh, cleaning up this and then I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Anyway, um, I have my pieces right here, and I'm going to sew them all together. I'm going to sew the skirt together, the straps, and the bodice pieces again, and serge all that, and that should be good. Yeah. Okay, so I accidentally pinned these on the outside. Oops. <laughs> I'll have to repin that and do it again. Oh well. Okay, so this is my skirt. This is the side and then this is the center back. I did the same thing as I did my last project and I cut it on the fold so I didn't need to seam that up any. I'm going to iron this all out and then I'll overlock it that once I get everything all ironed out. I cut out three straps instead of two because for my last project I had a problem with it. So hopefully this will be a good preemptive measure to make sure everything's okay. And then I have the four bodices. Hopefully this will all be good. I'm going to iron it all up and I'll show you guys. So I've got three straps cut out. I think I'm going to pick the two on the right side. Oh, there's a cat. <laughs> you're not needed right here right now so this is what I've got put together so far I have my skirt right here as well as some straps I'm going to use these two on the right side to actually use in my dress 
And then I've got some bodice pieces right there that I can use, as well as the bodice back. I'm going to put the bodice pieces together, and then I will pick out some lace to put on the top side of the bodice before I actually sew the lining and the bodice together. Okay, so I remembered to overlock the dart pieces. And I've got everything pinned up, so I'm going to sew both of the bodice pieces all up. I wanted to show you guys what laces that I have as well as how I'm going to actually insert the lace around my pattern. It's not really that hard to insert it, you just have to attach the lace on the outside of the pattern piece and then just put on the lining and sew it together how you normally would. So, This is the lace that I actually chose. It's just a simple, it's non-stretch lace and I'm just going to put it on the top right here and then baste it along the bottom of the fabric as well as the top of the fabric. Alrighty, so I got together the bodice and the bodice lining. So you can see that I have the basting stitches of the lace on here. And I think it turned out great, so I'm really happy with how it looks. And I got this part correct, but I actually had it a bit wrong on the back, but I can't really even see the difference. I accidentally have it with a line of stitching on the outside instead of the inside. Like I have for here because then I, I remembered that this is actually going to be what it's going to look on the outside because I want the lace facing down and the lace facing up right here. Uh, let's see, next step is going to be inserting this line, this into the lining right at the top and then putting the straps on the back while I do the top and then after that is under stitching. Then after that is straps. And then along the way, I'm going to put the skirt on the bottom. Should
passing playpen in the daytime Goosebumps rise at night And settle back down at sunrise No. Mm-hmm.